Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be taking a look back at the plight of one of the world's largest auto manufacturers in Formula 1. A manufacturer which has attained numerous successes in a wide variety of motorsports, yet were unable to ever man a serious challenge for the World Championship during an 8 year association with Formula 1, Toyota Racing. The Toyota Motor Company was founded in 1937, first producing their prototype passenger sedan in 1936, dubbed the Model AA. Throughout the Second World War the company produced trucks for the Japanese military. In 1972 the company founded Toyota Team Europe and first entered the Toyota Celica into the World Rally Championship. Toyota would go on to eventually claim three WRC constructors titles as an official factory concern. In 1999, Toyota suspended their sports car and rallying programs to focus on a shift into Formula One. The new team established their base of operations in Cologne and produced their first Formula One car, the TF101, which was painted in Toyota's company colours of red and white. The team were now ready to begin their Formula One operation in earnest, starting in 2002. So begins our retrospective on the racing liveries of the Toyota Formula One team. The TF102, Toyota's first chassis race to Grand Prix level, was designed by Gustav Brunner. The car ran with Michelin tyres and became the first Formula 1 car to consume ESSO fuels. Mika Salo delivered the team its first ever point in its debut race, held at Albert Park. The team ran with a predominantly white livery, which featured red brushstrokes angled diagonally across the car. Panasonic was signed on as the team's title sponsor and was seen on the car's side pods and rear wing in contrasting blue text. The TF202 also featured a rising sun hidden away behind the driver's helmet in acknowledgement of the team's Japanese heritage. The car also carried a list of smaller sponsors including Travelex, Weller, Ebon Dax, Radio Farm, Avex and EMC Squared. The team went on to produce the TF103 for the 2003 season which now featured KDDI, Intel, Karcher, and AOL Time Warner as supplementary sponsors. This was also the season's Spanish La Liga club Valencia first became the official football club partner of Panasonic Toyota Racing. In 2004, Japanese auto parts manufacturers Denso, a company partially owned by Toyota, was first seen on the engine case of the TF104. Time Incorporated was also seen in the car in 2004, appearing on the sides of the front wing. The team signed Mike Gascoigne as its technical director, who penned the TF105 for the 2005 season. 2005 would prove to be the team's most successful season in Formula 1, a season which oversaw a dramatic improvement in performance for the team, underlined by back-to-back second-place finishes, earned by Jarno Trulli in Malaysia and Bahrain. The team raced with the updated TF105B model, introduced for the Japanese Grand Prix, which in the hands of Ralph Schumacher secured pole position for its maiden race. Trulli and Schumacher would register five podiums between them throughout the season, helping Toyota achieve fourth position in the 2005 Constructors' standings. The following season, the team ran with Bridgestone rubber for the TF106, the final Toyota chassis designed by Mike Gascoigne. However, 2006 saw the team unable to capitalise on their breakout season from the year previous. In 2007, Kingfisher Airline joined as sponsors, whilst Mobile joined as technical partners, as the team raced with the new TF107 chassis. In 2008, the team raced with the aerodynamically sound TF108. Warner Brothers, a Time Warner company, used the new car to promote its feature films, such as the box office smash The Dark Knight. The team was once again on the up, and in 2009 produced the TF109, which featured twin rear diffusers and netted four podium finishes throughout the season, including second places for Timo Glock in Singapore and the team's longtime driver Jarno Trulli at Suzuka. The TF109 livery featured much thicker brush strokes applied to the car in an asymmetrical manner. The team also picked up German construction equipment company Worth, which appeared on the sides of the rear wing. Quite unexpectedly, 2009 would prove to be the final season for the factory Toyota team. In the face of an increasingly turbulent financial market, the company reached a decision to withdraw from Formula 1 with immediate effect, which meant that the team's final chassis, the TF110, went unraced. And so, as a result of a global financial downturn, 
the Toyota team, along with fellow works entities BMW and Honda, were out of Formula 1, signalling the beginning of a new direction for the sport as a whole. Post Formula 1, Toyota would make a return to both rallying and endurance racing, finally attaining their first win at Le Mans in 2018. Here ends our retrospective on a manufacturer that may very well one day make a return to Formula 1 to settle unfinished business.